The X brace is such an integral part of what makes a Martin guitar a Martin guitar. From a builder's standpoint, I like the consistency of the design and the fact that it works, that the top stays stiff enough, you can get a little movement in there, that the guitar can remain playable over its lifetime. That's really crucial. But I think what musicians found in the Martin was reliability. As a professional tool, it is reliable. I know when I open the case and put the guitar and get ready to perform in front of an audience, I don't have to worry about the guitar. Madame de Goni was a prominent Spanish guitar player between the years of 1840 and 1892. She was known throughout the United States as the best concert guitarist at the time. Madame de Goni spent a summer in C.F. Martin Sr.'s home. It was common for him to host traveling musicians and teachers at the time. One evening when Madame de Goni was visiting the Martin family, C.F. Martin Sr. presented a guitar to her. Madame de Goni played a couple of numbers on it and then proclaimed this was the best guitar she had ever played before, took her Spanish built guitar and put it in the corner, and then for the rest of her life played only Martin instruments. CF was starting to make copies of Spanish guitars because that's what the market was more familiar with that. And he was using the traditional fan bracing, which was great if he used a tie bridge, but he also offered Martin guitars with pin bridges. And the feeling amongst the people that have looked at his early work was, he had to move those fans out of the way because he was drilling holes in the top and potentially either drilling through a, a brace or putting the pin so close to it that it was just awkward. And so he began to move the braces out of the way to accommodate the pin bridge and also the tie bridge and ultimately settled on and developed Martin proprietary X bracing. The first known version of which in the configuration that we're all familiar with is the Madame de Goni model. C.F. Martin and Company has built over 2 million X-Brace guitars. And this is the first X-Brace guitar that was built over a century ago in 1843. After C.F. Martin Sr. built this guitar, he discovered that the X-Brace top was superior to any other bracing system that he had used in the past. He liked the structure it gave the guitar and he also thought the tone was superior. Though the braces have changed in size, position, shape, it still all comes back to an X brace top, and that's still the perfect bracing pattern for the guitars we build today. So Martin Guitar needed a louder guitar, mainly due to the fact that music has changed. Other instruments were becoming louder. The guitar started to fall back. They decided to go to a steel string. The steel string produced a louder sound, and the X bracing was necessary to hold the stability of the guitar top around 1915 is when that all combination came together and by 1920 it became standard to have a steel string flat top x brace guitar the whole idea of an acoustic guitar is to transfer the string energy to the top which is the soundboard with that x bracing provides the strength where it needs to be but also allows the top to be as loose as it needs to be to give you your best tone x bracing provides the most stability and the best tone Martin Guitar is always experimenting with bracing. I mean, we've been experimenting with bracing since 1833. We have scallop and non-scallop bracing patterns. A scallop bracing pattern is used for a guitar that you want to have a more punchy sound with a little more bass. We shave the wood away from that brace to allow it to be more flexible without losing stability. Our non-scallop bracing pattern actually holds that top a little tighter and a little stronger in the sense that it doesn't allow the top to flop as much and give you a much more precise note. Being around for almost 200 years gives us the ability to experiment with basically every bracing pattern that has ever been thought of. We decide to stick with the X bracing for one reason, we feel it's the best. With the development of the Martin X brace, uh, that's really where an acoustic guitar found its stride. It created the perfect balance between structural integrity and you know that optimized tonal quality that you're looking for. I mean, it's the most widely copied bracing pattern throughout the industry. Here at Martin, we're still experimenting with the design and optimization of bracing patterns. We feel it's important to be innovative while remaining respectful to our tradition. So we utilize many different types of objective tests here at Martin. We study the tonal qualities of our instruments, 
in addition to the dynamic properties of our guitars through a process called modal analysis. Modal analysis allows us to study the structure of the instrument, how it's going to react when it's played or how it's going to hold up over time. We're able to scientifically prove the tonal attributes of Martin X bracing. Throughout sound testing, we're, we're looking to measure several different uh, tonal qualities, whether it be sustain, the balance of the instrument, the amplitude, how it resonates, in addition to the dynamic properties of the guitar itself. How much does the guitar want to vibrate when it's excited? All these things really play into how the guitar is going to sound overall. The objective testing and scientific analysis that we do here at Martin allows us to make the greatest guitar in the world. We love to talk about the products that worked. There are products that worked in a, for a moment and then they just didn't have any follow through. But what probably one of the most consistent things that's worked for maybe the longest time is the X-Brace. And it's still working and we still use it and it's still wildly copied and I am very flattered.